Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got my monthly favourites for you and it's September, I believe. Um, so let's just get a make a start. Um, first I'll show you makeup. I've got um, this foundation, Max Factor Lasting Performance and one in 100 fair. Now I used to use this all the time when I was a lot younger and then I went off it for a while because I preferred a lighter coverage. This is sort of a medium to full coverage um, in my opinion and usually I mix this um, with another foundation especially if I'm trying to use a foundation which is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone or a bit too orange even because this foundation is very pink based and very pale so I find it really really good in, in autumn winter on its own as well as when I'm going very pale so I've been using more and more of this in the mixture and less and less of my Rimmel Match Perfection and now I think moving forward I'll probably just uh, go with just this on its own I am strongly considering this being the foundation I actually wear on my wedding day because it has no SPF so it has no will have no flashback for the flash photography I've still obviously got to tr try a few and compare it to a few others and I'm going to do some practice tutorials and get your guys' opinion on, on what you think and uh, get a little bit of a vote going on maybe um, but I'm, I'm leaning towards using this one on my wedding day Next I've got a blush or a combination as such which is the e.l.f. cream blush in Vixen and the e.l.f. small stipple brush. Now Emily Noel goes on about this brush and she's right. I mean I love it for under eye concealer, for cream blushes. It's just really really a fantastic brush um, and next time I do an e.l.f. Uh, purchase I'll just buy another one so I don't have to sort of clean it in between using it for blush or for concealer. This um, cream blush, I didn't really like it when I first got it and I still think the texture isn't the best to work with because it's 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 more of a mousse than a cream um, and it's very very bouncy, you can see that there. Um, it's also very very pigmented um, and that's just with me barely even touching, I mean let me give you a proper swatch. So with it being a, a sort of a mousse texture and me using a liquid foundation, um, yeah, it's not the easiest to work with, but what I really love doing with this brush is getting some on the back of my hand, swirling the brush around in the product and then getting that on my cheeks. And I didn't, I never think to buy this sort of a colour, uh, never, but I got this free with a purchase that I did and it's absolutely perfect for autumn. So I'm really, really, really loving this with my autumn makeup looks. I've been using that all month round. Next I'm going to go on to nail varnish or polish depending on where in the world you are. And um, I did give a sneak peek in last month's video that I did think that my new Essence Colour and Go polishes were going to be or to my favourite for September and possibly for autumn. And yes, they have been the ones that I've been reaching for all month round. I haven't worn polish all month round because I have been giving my nails a bit of a breather. And this colour looks very similar to the one in the bottle now, but it actually isn't. It's actually a, a shellac polish. But um, this colour I absolutely love in 128 Let's Get Lost. And this one is... 111 English Rose, how fitting. So yes, uh, those are the two that I've been really enjoying. I think they're really lovely autumnal shades, really inexpensive as well. Um, next, oh, I will say for those, I mean, I don't know how they perform on their own, but with a, a top coat, they do last just as well as others that I would use, such as Barry M. And I really love the polishes from Seventeen. I use those a lot on Revlon. I think they last up just as well as they do. Next, I'm going to go on to skincare. Now, I'm going to mention two products. Now, I actually don't know which one of these has been, been doing it, but they're both together been giving me a lovely addition to my skincare regime. The Simple uh, Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner and Be Radiant Re uh, rejuvenating serum. I have put both of these into my skincare regime and whereas I never had uh, visible pores, I, if I was really close up I could sort of see them and the combination or one of these two has actually just made my pores completely completely disappear. I'm really loving the texture and feel of my skin and the and look of my skin so I'm definitely going to carry on with those. I actually bought some more serum to try some different serum because I've never really been a fan of serums but after the effects of that one of persisting with it and using it regularly I feel like it's, it's going to be worthwhile. 
and um, next I've got a body product now I've got the Wilco fruity black cherry bath foam now I don't know about you but although I'm trying to get into the autumn spirit actually on and off it's still quite sunny where I am one day it's quite windy and the next day it's quite sunny like today it's actually really quite hot and it's you know nearly October so I've still been enjoying my fruity scents and I'm still going to carry on using this um, but I still I do feel that depending on your preference it's it can be used as an autumn scent as well with it being a black cherry smell it's really really nice yeah oh, inexpensive as well and um, if you do like cherries or fruity scents I would definitely give that a go um, I've also got some non-beauty favorites and it's um, my nightmare before Christmas mug I really really love this mug I love Halloween I love all things Halloween and so um, I've got I, I like to give out the Halloween sweets when the kids knock on the door so uh, I'm using that as a favorite because I only get to use it through September and October so I really make the most of it then and the last thing I'm going to mention is favourites is something I've become absolutely addicted to which is Sun Pat Choco Nut and it's a chocolate peanut butter. Now I would have thought this would be really unhealthy for you. I mean peanut butter some people think is healthy, some people don't. Obviously it's high in valori uh, valories, it's high in calories but it's um, also got the fats in it that are quite good for you and obviously better than things like jam and butter on, on your toast so um i wouldn't have thought this would be something that i would absolutely love but i really really have been loving it and i've found that it's actually helped me to lose weight because obviously peanut butter has like glycemic index to it i have found that when i've used this i've only needed one slice of toast instead of two and that's been keeping me full all the way till lunch when i have it for breakfast so this has been my go-to breakfast all month round I've been making a few other little changes but I really think that's contributed to the fact that I have managed to lose five pounds so yay I'll carry on with that and, and see if I can lose a bit more. So those are all my monthly favourites, quite a short video this month, I hope you enjoyed it um, please keep tuned for more videos, I've got some empties coming up and some tutorials and some tags so I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you soon, bye!